Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, we are finally doing a modification that a lot of you have been telling me to do in the comment section below. Now, if you guys know the build, the current build right now, we haven't really touched the back end of the car yet. Pretty much did everything around. So we are going to be finally doing something to the back of the car. Now by the title and thumbnail, you guys probably already know what we're doing. We're adding a diffuser onto the FRS. Now, if you guys know the build currently, we have a front lip, we have side skirts, and we have rear spats. We're just missing the diffuser. I ordered it several weeks ago and it's been sitting at a place for a couple of days now. We're gonna go ahead and pick it up, bring it back to the house and install it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get into the install. Okay, so that's the FRS all the way down here and I can hear from literally down the whole entire street. Holy. It's like the first time I've seen it roll in person. Not a keychain, what do you call this thing? Like a lanyard, um, but I was not expecting this at all. I did not order this or anything. It just came with the diffuser, which is pretty sick. This is a pretty cool added bonus to the diffuser that I bought. Okay, so this right here is the OEM style diffuser. I didn't want to go with anything too crazy because the car is already low and I did want to finish off the lip kit that I have. Right over here, it's painted in like a gloss black material. Um, I got this from eBay as well, so let's go ahead and see how this looks mounted up with the car. It also did come with some screws and hardware as well, so that is a pretty sick added bonus. So as you guys can see right now, I have the STI style front lip. It's a replica lip. And then over here on the sides as well, I have STI side skirts. These are reps. And then over here, I have some rear spats. Yeah, I do have a video on those as well. And right here in the back is the new diffuser. The car is extremely dirty right now. Let me get a little close up. It doesn't really show well on camera, but if you guys look at the side skirts over here, it's literally caked in dirt and pretty much covered all in dirt now i didn't wash the car because it is cloudy outside and there is like a 70 percent chance of rain so there's not really a point of washing the car but let's go ahead and talk about the diffuser okay so here is how the diffuser looks and if i'm being completely honest with you guys i'm not sure if i like it or not now the installation process was horrible i gotta say i would not recommend this company to anybody and the reason why the installation process was horrible was because the pre-drilled holes that come with the diffuser none of them lined up and matched the oem bumper that it drills onto that was really one thing that got me upset and i did not like about this diffuser i know there's other companies that make this exact same diffuser people can install the same one with no problems but just the one i had caused me some problems which i didn't like 
Now over here, you guys can see the rear spat. Now pay close attention to the rear spat. As you guys can tell that it's a different texture than the diffuser. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, me and a lot of other people are telling me to get rid of the rear spats. I'm gonna let you guys decide. Let me know in the comment section below if I should get rid of these rear spats. Firstly, the fitment on the rear spats are horrible, which is something that has always bothered me. Also, the texture on the rear spats and the color is a completely different color than the side skirts and the front lip. And I actually really think that if I ran no rear spats, the car would still look really, really great. So let me know in the comment section below if I should run the spats or not, or maybe even take them off and paint them. But we didn't really do a lot to the back end other than these VLAN taillights, which still are one of the greatest mods that I have done and completely changed the car. So there is something else coming for the car really, really soon. I'm gonna let you guys guess it in the comment section below but it is for the back end. It just needs to go ahead and get painted. That's all I'm gonna let you guys know. I don't wanna spoil it for you guys, but just be excited. Make sure you guys have your post notifications on and stay tuned for that video.